Hey everyone, welcome to Pineapple Knits, a knitting and spinning video cast. I'm Marina, and you can find me everywhere on the web at Pineapple Yarn, especially Instagram, where I'm most active. And you can visit my hand dyed yarn, fiber, and candle company at pineappleyarn.com. Thanks again for joining me this week, and if this is your first time joining, welcome. I really hope that you love the content here. This is mostly a knitting and spinning podcast. That's mostly what we chat about here. Um, I've been going a lot into gardening, so I try not to go too much into that, but that's where a lot of my time is being spent now. Not going to lie about that, <laughs> but I'm really glad you're here. I hope you've had a really great week, and actually it's been two weeks since I last podcasted. Um, I have been trying to keep up with my weekly podcast. Last week I filmed my weekly podcast and all of the footage was gone when I went to go edit it. Um, I had my advent calendar preview footage, I had other footage that I had shot, and the podcast was gone. So, I'm not really sure what happened there. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what happened. So, that's fine. I'm back. I'm sorry I missed you last week. Um, I just didn't have time to re-record the podcast. It's just the way it was. But, uh, yeah, so I am drinking. I was drinking. I have no idea where it is now. I was drinking some sweet tea but it was fake because I had stevia in it. <laughs> so it was unsweetened iced tea with stevia, which was definitely not as satisfying as normal sweet tea, but that's okay. Um, and I don't know where I put it. It's, it wasn't very exciting anyway. It wasn't anything special, but I just thought it would be really refreshing today to drink that, and it was. And now I, I must have set it down somewhere between here and somewhere. So I'll have to go find that. Um, I definitely don't want one of my littles to find that. They don't need any, any extra energy for sure. <laughs> but yeah, so let's get started with knitting. This week I have continued my monogamous, very monogamous knitting with my Sunshine Coast sweater. This is a pattern by Heidi Kermeyer. This is the second one that I've knit and I'm still loving it. I am at the point where I am very anxious for it to be done. But here is the body of the sweater. I completely finished the body. And yeah, I'm not sure about this. It looks really wide to me. I knit, so let me back up. So I did do a gauge swatch. I actually have it right here. I did do a gauge swatch. So I completely met gauge. I went down a needle size, which is the norm for me. I always go down a needle size. And so I just figured I will just knit this sweater uh, exactly how the pattern was. Unfortunately, as is my habit, I don't take, a lot of times I just don't take notes when I knit, which is really too bad. So the last Sunshine Coast sweater, I don't have any notes on it. So I don't really remember what I did. Though I do have to say the yarn that I used last time is completely different than this yarn. This is the um, this is a pineapple yarn Summer DK, which is a 50% merino and 50% cotton, and it's a DK weight. The colorway is Saturn, so it's just this beautiful kind of pale neon yellow, and I love it. I'm sure it is glowing on the screen, but. Um, yeah, so I finished the body. I'm onto a sleeve. I'm using the Addy Clicks um, size six, I believe. So it is their um, interchangeable system. They're very fast. They're very slippery needles. That's why I like them. And yeah, so I'm just kind of moving through the sleeve. It's going very quickly, actually. I did not spend a lot of time doing this section. So I am sure that it will just fly by. I'm just really hoping anyway with the length that it's just not too boxy. I mean, right now it looks really, really boxy. I may have just knit the wrong size. I really should have maybe knit the smaller size, but I mean, we'll see. 
I should have tried it on also before I started on the sleeve, but I'm going to be honest, I'm not, even if this is too big, I'm, or too boxy, or I don't like the fit, I'm not re-knitting it. I will probably just give it to one of my daughters <laughs> because they are uh, either rapidly approaching my size or they have surpassed me. So um, this will fit someone even if it doesn't fit me and they will like it. They're very sweet. They still actually, they, they don't mind wearing the same things I do, which is really sweet. So um, yeah, but the pattern's awesome. I'm really enjoying it. Um, so hopefully, if I keep working on this, I'm hoping that I will be done with it next week, and that would be so great because I totally have another project that I'm, I am already, it is almost going to be caked up, and I'm really looking forward to that. But I forgot to mention, um, that I should have, actually, I need to back way up, totally forgot to tell you what I was wearing. I am wearing the Banana Leaf Shawl by Yuki Ueda. This was the pattern I used for my 2019 Pineapple Yarn Advent Calendar. So I just, I actually dyed this in a gradient. This was day one. And I just knit all of this. I'll show you really fast. And it goes into this really pretty, like, speckly neutrals and then kind of gold aqua and purple kind of a lavender gray a lavender gray speckles i mean there's so many speckles and then it just fades into really light but it has neon speckles throughout which is so fun and I really loved putting this together for the advent calendar. I loved this pattern. Um, Y'all remember I'm sure if you've watched the podcast before that I really went back and forth as far as what pattern to knit and just what, what to do with the minis and so I was so happy that I settled on this because I love this pattern. It was really once once you establish the point at one end it's really mindless knitting and it was so fun and I loved watching the color changes. So um, this pattern is actually written for lace weight yarn, not fingering weight. Um, I do have this on my Ravelry page if you want to check out the modifications I made. I definitely relied heavily on another user's modifications and she was great. She had uh, some really great suggestions, but this was a wonderful pattern. I really, really loved it. So yeah, and in case you missed, I do have 2020 Advent Calendar pre-orders for sale on my site right now. So that's exciting. So I told you what I was wearing. Now I have to show you a finished object. <laughs> I'm totally out of practice right now. So they here in South Carolina, they just reopened the beaches. People with private access to the beaches, they were um, it was totally fine for them to go, but for us who rely on a public access, uh, we're unable to go for a while. So they just reopened those up, and I went and I brought a new knitting project. This was, um, this is, I think it's Grandma's favorite dishcloth. It's a very popular pattern by PJ Allen. It's free on Ravelry. I will link below so you can check it out. But I wanted something to bring to the beach that wasn't a massive sweater <laughs> and also something cotton because I feel like cotton just works better in the humidity, especially when you're by the water. I used peaches and cream. Uh, let's see, it's called Energetic Pink. I think maybe 17003 is the color. And it's just a really fun stripey pattern or colorway with um, corals and some shell pinks and pinks, you know, some like darker pinks, lighter pinks. This was really fun. And I, I just really wanted to do a washcloth lately. Um, I have not made one of these in a really long time. And 
I have been gravitating towards um, easier patterns, <laughs> more mindless knits lately. And so I wanted to make some of these. I used to make these with a couple of my kids when they were babies out of organic cotton and they were so nice for babies because they're so soft and so squishy with that garter, uh, with the garter stitch. So uh, yeah, so this was fun. I finished this when I was actually at the beach and so it was just such a fast knit, very, very fun. And I figured if I can use a pink, I'm sure I will find a child in my house to enjoy it. Um, for those of you who don't know, I actually have four girls and a boy. So someone will probably, I'm surprised this isn't out of my knitting basket right now. <laughs> Things sometimes disappear and are used for their own personal benefit. But yeah, so that was really fun. So, so thankful to be able to go to the beach. It was just, the children were just, it meant so much to the children and um, so much to me, obviously. I love the beach. So uh, yeah, that was really great. Very happy about that. Okay, so I showed you the washcloth showed you the Sunshine Coast sweater, and now I want to go ahead and show you a spinning project that I finally finished. I finally finished the St. Patrick's Day um, yarn. These were Rolags that I blended up on St. Patrick's Day, all different kinds of greens, and I don't think I showed you this. I actually think I showed you this on my last podcast that went missing. So I did a... Um, a backward draw on this and also supported back draw so it wasn't completely a backward draw but this turned out really really pretty and it has some green uh, Angelina in it I mean this is just like all the greens right now so yeah, I would say it's definitely a bulky weight. I think I ended up with about, I think I counted up 126 yards on this. So, and of course the weight, I don't even remember the weight. I would say it's about 100 grams. So yeah, definitely more of a bulky weight yarn. I was having some trouble with this just with motivation and just spinning it because I'm not very good at the um, long backward draw. It's just, it really is quite a challenge for me. And so I just stuck with it. And I think finally by the last, I think it was the second to last row lag, it just kind of clicked. And I was like, oh wow, this is, it was just so satisfying when I was actually spinning it and it was, it was going, it was working, and um, it was just flowing really well. So yeah, I will definitely work on this in the future. And I've been, um, another thing I've been working on with my spinning is I have really been trying to do not the finest spin that I could possibly do. I've really been trying to work more towards a nice in-between, like a DK would be fabulous, but once I got down to knitting fingering weight, it was just, I really wanted to come back up. And it was, it, it has been very challenging to move away from the very, very fine yarns and go into more of like a DK weight. But I will just keep working on it. That was this. And I think that, I, I should say I chain plied this as well. And so, there's very little, little barber pulling or mixing of the colors. This will all be like kind of a self-striping yarn. It will be the cutest. Probably, it'll probably end up being a beanie, a little hat for one of my kids. So, or for me, who knows? <laughs> but this was a really fun spin and I was glad I stuck with it. And I remembered my iced tea where I put it. So I'm very glad no one got to it. So it's good. <laughs> I wanted to show you what I will be working on after I finish my Sunshine Coast sweater. I know I told you that I would be knitting another one because my daughter, my oldest daughter, really wants one. I even have the yarn dyed up for it, but 
I think I might need a little break <laughs> before I knit another one. So I dyed up some kits this week and I had a lot of leftover dye that I needed to get rid of. I don't like to pour it down the drain um, and I really like to challenge myself using a lot of different colors and put them together in interesting combinations. And so I decided to um, dye up some kits for this week's shop update. I'm not going to go through everything right here. I will have a different video that I will upload later going over everything, but I do want to show you because I'm keeping one of these kits for myself <laughs> and I'm definitely going to be knitting with it. This is um, one of the kits that I will be uploading and it is a very gradual gradient from lightest to darkest. This will be these are all 50 gram skeins and there's six of them. So you have 300 grams here. This is plenty of, um, of yardage for really any project you want. I mean, I think it ends up being about 13, about 1300 yards. So that's quite a bit of yarn. But what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to just knit end to end of every skein. I'm going to knit a dotted raised shawl with this. I love that pattern so much. I talk about it all the time. How I'm, I always want to make another one. and I haven't made one for like probably since the pattern came out, which was four years ago, five years ago. I mean, it's been a while. So I'm just going to, as soon as I saw this yarn and I dyed it and it was just coming together, I was like, this has got to be a dotted raise. I went through so many other patterns as well and it just kept saying that this is what it wanted to become. So I'm, I'm saving one of these for myself. I'm going to make a dotted raise. It's going to be a really gradual fade. I'm going to just knit it end to end. I'm not even going to blend any of the colors together. Just once one ends, I'm just going to start again. And so that's going to be the next project. So I will be putting these in the shop on Friday and I guess that's May 7th, 8th. I think it's May 8th, but these will be in the shop on May 8th and yeah, I hope you like them as much as I do. I love them. <laughs> Absolutely love them. So I'm super excited to start on that next project, but I did receive something in the mail I'd love to share with you. It is my Hedgehog Fibers Fiber of the Month Club for a, no, for May. And so if you haven't received yours, go ahead and skip ahead. I don't want to ruin the surprise. But I'm sure you've received it by now because I received it quite a while ago. But here it is. I think this is so pretty. This is 125 grams combed top. It's a custom blend of 70% merino, 25% sari silk, and 5% viscose. And so I believe that viscose is all of these little beautiful white flecks, almost like a tweed in here. And as always, Hedgehog Fibers, they just do such an outstanding job. And they do these amazing custom blends, but then they dye on top of it. And so it's just, the texture is wonderful. The color is wonderful. And you always get a surprise like, these purples in here, got some blues. I'm sure you can see kind of a mustard green, but this is, it just has so many beautiful colors. I see some pinks. I think overall the it's maybe dyed on like a lavender shade, but there's just so much going on with this yarn, with this wool. It's so fun. I have months of this to, to spin up. <laughs> I've really got to get going on this. Um, I mean, not that it's going anywhere, right? 
it's not going anywhere. I guess I am saying this because I really, really want to spin it up because it's oh, it just feels so wonderful. Look how beautiful that is. There are just so many different textures and colors. So that was super fun to receive. As always, I just, I absolutely love opening up their packages. And I really love to, and I don't know if they plan this out, but I am wondering if they dye, if they plan their blends and then dye them so you can kind of coordinate month to month. Because a lot of their, I should back up and I should say this, I have not received a month that looks completely different from another month. Um, they do contain similar colors a lot of times. Um, the blends are always different, which I do appreciate. They have some really creative blends. But I would love to spin this up and use it all in one big project. I think that would be so awesome. So that was that, super exciting. I just, I love that so much. So that was really fun to get. And um, that is basically it. That's all I've been working on this next week. Hopefully I will get my um, sweater done, figure out if it fits, uh, or if I have to give it to one of my children. Um, I don't know, we'll see but I'll probably make another washcloth maybe. I would love to get back on my sock machine um, and knit up a sock. I really, really need to do that. So I need to carve out some time to do that and make that a priority. I want to do some spinning. I want to start my dotted raised shawl. <laughs> I have so many things I want to do, but um, yeah, that's the plan for next week. And other than that, so in shop news, I will have a shop update this Friday, uh, which is May, I guess May 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern time at pineappleyarn.com. I will have several different fade kits in different sizes. So I will have some mini kits. I just, I dyed up a few with my leftover dyes. So if you would like to check those out, I will have a short video after this one, um, just going over what I'll have in the shop. I will also have some sock blanks that are really beautiful. I dyed up a few of those. So I would love if you would check that out after this video. I will start to have my regular updates just with single skeins of yarn after this update. Um, I really, really needed to use up all that dye. <laughs> so that was kind of my motivation this week to use all those bottles of dye that I had been kind of storing up and they just needed to be used. Um, oh, I did completely dye up the clubs for May. So if you purchased a club for your May uh, pre-order, thank you so much, first of all. It really means so much to me and to my family as well, because it helps support my family. But those candles are poured, they are dyed. All I need to do is wind them and package them. So they will be going out this week. And so you can keep an eye out for those. The June pre-orders are now up and I will be going over those in my video as well. I also have the advent calendar pre-orders. Those will be up for several more months. So, um, so yeah, many of you have already purchased those, and I, again, I so appreciate your support of my business. Um, I love making beautiful things, and I can keep making them as long as you love them. So I really appreciate that. Most of my mornings have been dedicated to gardening, really. Um, not the entire morning, but I have been going out first thing just to water and to check the plants out. They're doing great. Uh, everything that I've planted and yeah so I've really been enjoying that the weather has been gorgeous here still it hasn't it it's just been a very slow uh, spring the humidity really hasn't hit hard yet the heat hasn't hit hard 
And so some of my heat loving plants like peppers and tomatoes, they have not grown huge yet. They are getting flowers, but they're not massive by any means. And so I'm sure once the heat really does hit, they will just take off. But um, for now, I still have lettuce. So happy about that. I've been eating lettuce like crazy and I have no issues with that at all. <laughs> um, everything else is just kind of growing and coming along. Um, yeah, so I've really, really been enjoying gardening this spring. Um, my husband and I are building a fence and just a little fence, not, it, not like around the whole house or anything, but just part of it. So we are now to the real work of digging post holes and doing some really heavy work. So that's what my weekend looks like. <laughs> I will be outside doing that during the weekend. Now we have these big projects and we need to wrap them up, especially now that the beach is open because you know that I will be at the beach quite a bit, <laughs> which is wonderful. So that is all I'm going to chat about this week. I hope you're doing well wherever you are and I hope that your knitting and crafting is bringing you lots of joy and comfort in your life and next time I hope to see you next week and until then I hope you have an awesome day. Bye! Thank you.